This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. This program is brought to you locally in part by... What are you looking for? A place to belong? A path to a career? A way to make things better? Do you wonder what opportunity looks like? Explore your answers here at Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech, just like our state, is soaring to great heights. As president, I encourage you to learn more about Tennessee Tech. We transform lives every day. Tech is Tennessee. Welcome to the WCT High School Academic Bowl. I'm your moderator, Brian O'Connor, a math professor at Tennessee Tech University. We're here in the Oakley STEM Center on the campus of Tennessee Tech University, and our match day features teams from White County High School and Cookville High School. Let's meet our teams and our match officials. Hi, my name is Molly Risley. I am the coach of the Cookville High School Academic Team, and I teach math and social studies at Avery Trace Middle School. Hi, my name is Jackson Bilbrey. I'm a senior at Cookville High School and I play soccer. My name is Eli Schuster. I'm a senior at Cookville High School and I do music reviews for our school newspaper, The Charger. Hi, my name is Luke Tatum. I'm a senior at Cookville High School and I enjoy watching Nashville hockey. Go Preds! Hi, my name is Danny Isham. I'm a senior at CHS and I believe the dogs should vote. Hi, my name is Tyler Jones and I'm the coach for White County High School's academic team. Uh, an interesting fact about me is I have the greatest academic team in the state of Tennessee. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm 15. I'm a sophomore from White County High School and I enjoy playing flute in the band. Hi, my name's Ella. I'm 15. I'm a sophomore at White County High School and I recently started a baking club. Hi, I'm Audrey and I'm a senior at White County High School and I've just been accepted into the Pride of the Southland Marching Band Color Guard. Say hello to the bad guy. I'm Ronnie Segal. I'm a senior at White County High School, and even while I'm losing, still looking good. I'm Jack Matson. Um, today I'm here to be a judge. I'm a retired faculty member from the College of Business at Tennessee Tech and a former board member on the WCTE. Hi, I'm Marge Rios. I'm here to help judge today. I'm a retired teacher from Livingston Academy, where I taught for 21 years, and I was the academic bowl coach over there. Hi, my name is Lee Sinclair and I am a judge in the WCTE 2019 Academic Bowl. Welcome back. Just to inform you, this match is the finals of the second chance bracket in our double elimination tournament. Cookville defeated Scott High School and Scott is our fourth place team. The winner of this match, the loser of this match will be the third place team and the winner of this match will meet Gallatin High School, the winner of the winner's bracket for the championship. I believe we're ready to start our match. Teams, are you ready? Here we go. Here's your first toss up. What is the value of sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta? Elijah. One. One is correct. 20 points there, or 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. For 20 points, how much would it cost to carpet a nine foot by 12 foot room if carpet costs $8 a square foot, or a square yard? Nine foot by 12 feet, $8 a square yard. Answer? $512? No, $96. No points on that bonus. Here's your next toss up. What is the voice of the verb in the following sentence? The mending wall was written, Danny. Passive. Passive voice written by Robert Frost. Passive voice, correct, 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. A two kilogram body moves to the right at 20 meters per second, and a one kilogram body moves to the left at 20 meters per second. The two bodies collide. For 10 points each, answer the following. What is the total momentum of the two bodies? And give units.
50 newtons? No, 20 kilogram meters per second. And secondly, in what direction does the two kilogram body move after the collision if the one kilogram body moves to the right at 10 meters per second, at 10 meters per second? Right? To the right is right. 10 points on that bonus question. Here's your next toss up. Give the nickname of Claudia Alta Taylor Johnson. She was the first lady of the United States. Audrey. Martha? No, can you take it, Cookville? Time. Time, that was Lady Bird Johnson. Next toss up, who wrote The Last of the Mohicans? Ronnie. Thoreau. No, can you take it, Cookville? Elijah. Stevenson. No, James Fenimore Cooper. Careful on con conferring on the toss ups. Here's your next toss up. Hindi is the language spoken by more than two out of five. Uh, Luke. India. In what country? India. Correct. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. Solve the following percent problems. First, what is 65% of 80? Answer? 52. 52 is correct. And next, 88 is 88% 88 of what number? I'm what? sorry, 88 is 80% 80 of what number? 110. 110 is correct. 20 points on that bonus. Here's your next toss up. Translate the following French phrase. Je n'ai pas de faim. Danny. I am not hungry. I am not hungry, correct. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. This Supreme Court justice was called Silver Heels. He served on the court for 34 years from 1801 to 1835. Name him. John Marshall. John Marshall is correct. Next, what name belongs to a US state capital, a university, a long western US river, and a space shuttle? Answer. Denver. No, Columbia. That's 10 points on that bonus question. Here's your next toss up. What name is given to the property of a material that allows it, allows it to be drawn into a wire without breaking? Danny. Malleability. No, can you take it White County? Ronnie. Tension. No, ductility. No points there. Here's your next toss up. Name the indirect object in this sentence. Fernando gave Manuel Ronnie. Manuel. Manuel, an orange and an apple, indirect object. 10 points there, here's your bonus question. Sherlock Holmes appears in four novels by Arthur Conan Doyle. For 10 points each, what are two of the titles of the four novels? Lady and Scarlet. Lady and Scarlet and no answer for the other one. It was a study in Scarlet. The Sign of the Poor, His Last Bow, and The Hound of the Baskervilles. So no points on that bonus. Next toss up. What was the date that will live in infamy? Ronnie. December 7th, 1941. The bombing of Pearl Harbor, correct. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. The hickory and the oak were trees that symbolized the presidential election of 1828. Which candidate did the hickory symbolize? That's a bonus. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson is right. And second, which candidate did the oak symbolize? John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams? John Quincy Adams is correct. 20 points on that bonus. Here's a toss up. Spell the correct plural form of the noun curriculum. Jackson. C U R R I C U L I? Uh, no, can you take it, White County? Jack. C-U-R-R-I-C-U-L-U-M-S. No, C-U-R-R-I-C-U-L-A, curricula. No points on that toss-up. Here's another toss-up. An ocean wave has a wavelength of 10 meters. A wave passes by every two seconds. What's the speed of the wave? Ronnie. 20 meters per second. No, can you take it, Cookville? Luke. Five meters per second? That's right. 
went the wrong way. Five meters per second on that, 10 points on the bonus. Here, you're in the toss up, here's your bonus. A couple math questions for 10 points each. First, what is the slope of a horizontal line? Zero. Zero is correct. Second, what is the area of a triangle whose sides are six, eight, and 10? Uh, 24. 24 is right because it has to be a right triangle. 20 points on that bonus question. Here's your next toss up. Name the classic Frank Capra movie about an idealistic and brand new senator and his conflict with a corrupt political machine. It starred James Stewart. Time. Time. Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Here's the next toss up. Jeffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales contained how many tales? Luke. 13. No, can you take it, White County? Ronnie. 10. No, 24. Next toss up. Who created James Bond? Time. Ian Fleming. Next toss up. If water is flowing through a pipe whose cross sectional area increases, then what happens to the velocity of the water? Uh, Ronnie. Decreases. It decreases, correct. 10 points there. Here is your bonus question. Two famous women died within a week of each other in 1997. 10 points for each one you can name from these descriptions. First, she at one time. That's the end of our first round and Cookville is leading 110 to White County 50. Come on back for our lightning round. This program is brought to you locally in part by What are you looking for? A place to belong? A path to a career? A way to make things better? Do you wonder what opportunity looks like? Explore your answers here at Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech just like our state is soaring to great heights. As president, I encourage you to learn more about Tennessee Tech. We transform lives every day. Tech is Tennessee. Hi, I'm Audrey and I'm a senior at White County High School. This is only my second year competing at WCTE and I really only joined Academic Bowl because my favorite teacher was in charge of it, but I really ended up enjoying it. It's become one of my favorite clubs and WCTE is one of my favorite competitions because everybody's so friendly and there's so much excitement and production to the competition. Welcome back to the WCTE High School Academic Bowl. Got a good match going here. Cookville 110, White County 50. We have a substitution to tell you about for Cookville. Daniel has replaced Elijah. Hi, my name is Daniel Tatum. I'm a freshman at Cookville High School and I watch Star Wars way too much. We're going to have our lightning round now, and the categories are inventors and centuries. White County, which would you like? Centuries. Centuries. Tell the century in which these historical events occurred. Are you ready? Yep. Duke of Normandy conquers England. Uh, that is the... Twelfth. Columbus sails on first ocean voyage. Fifteenth. U.S. Declaration of Independence signed. Eighteenth. Naval Battle of Midway Island. Twentieth. Traditional date of Roman Empire collapse. A Roman Empire collapse. Uh, pass. Century when Bach, Handel, and Voltaire were born. Bach, Handel, Voltaire. Uh, they were friends with Beethoven, so. Uh, 18th. Century when Shakespeare was born. Shakespeare. 16th. George W. Bush becomes president. Uh, George. 20th. California Gold Rush. 19th. Marco Polo visits Asia for 24 years. Uh, 15th. Traditional date of Roman Empire collapse. 50th. Wait, what? Shh. 50th century. I'll mark that on my calendar. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> Rome's going strong. Uh, you have five correct. Brings you up to 100. The ones you missed, Duke of Normandy conquers England in the 11th century. Traditional date of the Roman Empire collapse is the 5th century. Bach Handel Voltaire was the 17th century. That's when they were born. George W. Bush became president in the 21st century. And Marco Polo visits Asia in the 13th century. So 
So five correct brings you up to 100. And now we come to Cookville with the category inventors. Name the inventors of the following devices. 10 points for each correct answer. The telephone. Graham Bell. Printing press. Gutenberg. Train sleeping car. Pass. Lightning rod. Franklin. Gas burner. Pass. Barometer. Pass. Revolver. Colt. Safety razor. Pass. Phonograph. Edison. Zipper. Pass. Train sleeping car. Watt. Gas burner. Bunsen. Barometer. Bar. Safety razor. Gillette. Zipper. Plonk. You have seven correct. The three you missed. Train sleeping car was Pullman. Barometer was Torricelli. And the zipper was Judson. The others are right. 70 points there. Brings you up to 180. All right, we're going to start our second half here. Teams, are you ready? Here's your first toss-up. In the Music City Miracle football game, the Tennessee Titans beat what team? Jackson. The Rams. No, can you take it, White County? Ronnie. Jaguars. No, the Buffalo Bills. Next toss-up. What was the name of the British and French supersonic passenger airliner that operated from 1976 to 2003? Danny. Airbus. No, can you take it, White County? Time. Time, that was the Concorde. Next toss up. What is the halogen that is a liquid at room temperature? Ronnie. No, uh, Cookville, can you take it? Luke. Iodine. No, bromine. No points there. Here's your next toss-up. Maid Marion is most identified with what outlaw? Luke. Robin Hood. Robin Hood, correct. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. Four countries west of Egypt share the southern coast of the Mediterranean Sea. For five points each, name these four. Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, and Libya. Correct all four, 20 points on that bonus. Here's your next toss up. What term is defined as the degree of disorder in a system? Danny. Entropy. Entropy, that is correct, 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. For 10 points each, answer these questions about awards. The Tony Awards are given for performances and plays in what New York area? Broadway. Broadway is right. And next, the best in American writing are often cited as winners in what annual U.S. prizes? Pulitzer Prize. Pulitzer Prizes. 20 points on that bonus. Here's another toss-up. The potential difference between two points in an electric field is known by what term? Time. Time, that's voltage. Next toss-up. In Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal, what did the initials of a Washington agency titled CCC stand for? Time. That was the Civilian Conservation Corps. Next toss up, Osmandius and Ode to the West Wind, uh, Luke. Percy Shelley. Percy Shelley, poems by which British poet, correct. 10 points there, here's your bonus question. First part for 10 points, who wrote the 19th century novel entitled The Old Curiosity Shop? Keats. No, that was Charles Dickens. And next, who wrote The Bonfire of the Vanities in the 1980s? Answer. Bradbury. No, it was Tom Wolfe. No points on that bonus. Here comes another toss up. Of what musical genre was Dr. Samuel Johnson referring to when he said of this art form, what's too silly to be spoken can always be sung? Jackson. Hip hop? No, no can not. you take it White County? Ronnie. Romanticism. No, opera. It's close to hip hop.
So no points on that toss-up. Here's another toss-up. What two countries does the channel connect? Luke. China and Taiwan. No, can you take it, White County? Time. Time. France and England. It's under the English Channel. No points there. Here's another toss-up. Despite the agony that they faced in Vietnam, the small town protagonists of the movie, The Deer Hunter, profess their patriotism by singing what national song? Jackson. The Star Spangled Banner. No, can you take it, White County? Ronnie. The Battle Hymn of the Republic. No, God Bless America. No points there. Another toss up. What is the name for a hunting expedition to hunt Africa's largest game? Ronnie. Safari. Safari is correct. 10 points there. Bonus question. For 10 points, Derek Jeter played his entire Major League career with one team. Name the team. Yankees. The Yankees is right. And second, for 10 points, Cal Ripken Jr. played his whole career with what baseball team? Dodgers. No, the Baltimore Orioles. 10 points on the bonus. Here's another toss-up. When the stock market crashed in 1929, who was president? Ronnie. Hoover. Herbert Hoover, correct, 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. For 10 points, The Last of the Mohicans, a novel by James Fenimore Cooper, was set during what American war? French Indian War. French and Indian War is correct. Also for 10 points, the Shakespeare play Henry V was set during what English war? 100 Year War. 100 Year War, correct, 20 points on the bonus. Here's another toss-up. What is the standard five-letter term for a material that contains more than one element and has metallic... Danny. Alloy. Metallic properties such as luster and electrical conductivity. Alloy is correct. Ten points there. Bonus question. For ten points, who is the current minority leader of the U.S. Senate? A bonus. Answer? No answer. That's Chuck Schumer. Also for 10 points, who is the majority leader of the U.S. Senate? Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell is right. 10 points on that bonus question. Here's the next toss-up. Give the word, having a French origin, which means lacking in social experience or grace, it translates into English directly as left. Danny. Gauche. What is gauche correct? 10 points, right. Here's your bonus question. For 10 points, Birches is a poem by what American poet? Robert Frost. Robert Frost is right. Also for 10 points, when I heard the learned astronomer is a poem by whom? <clears throat> Answer. Longfellow. No, it's Walt Whitman. 10 points on the bonus. Here's the next toss up. Who wrote the operas The Barber of Seville and Luke? Uh, Mozart. No, I'll continue for White County. Barbara Seville and William Tell. Ronnie. Chopin. No, it was Giacchino Rossini. Next toss-up. In what French novel will you find the character Quasimodo? Ronnie. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Huntre Hunchback of Notre Dame. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. For five points each, name the decade when the U.S. population hit these marks. First, 50 million. 1970. 1870s. 100 million. 1920s. 1910s. 200 million. 1950s. 1960s. And 300 million. 1980s. No, 2000s. Close on those, but no points, unfortunately. Here's your next toss up. What is the cotangent of 45 degrees? Ronnie. One. One is correct. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. For ten points each, identify the work and the author of this quotation. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. Now, as William Shakespeare, as you like it, and that's the end of our match. Cookville is the winner with 290, White County 170. White County is our third place team. Cookville plays Gallatin once again for the championship. Thank you. Say hello to the bad guy again. I'm Ronnie Segal and I'm a senior from White County. I'm proud to be the 
the captain of my team, and I'm proud to come back here. We got third place, which it ended in a little bit of a disappointing matter, but you can only do so much. And I have to say, out of all the competitions I went to, the WCTE was the one that had the most progression and truly showed how our team evolved. And for that, I will always be grateful. Thank you, Tennessee Tech, and thank you, WCTE. This program is brought to you locally in part by What are you looking for? A place to belong? A path to a career? A way to make things better? Do you wonder what opportunity looks like? Explore your answers here at Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech just like our state is soaring to great heights. As president, I encourage you to learn more about Tennessee Tech. We transform lives every day. Tech is Tennessee. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.